As the 2023 presidential election gets closer, the Yoruba presidency has been reigning as former governor of Lagos, Bola Metinumbu, is tagged as one of the favorite politicians that may succeed Muhammad Buhari, especially when there is a high chance that power may shift to the south. However, there are many people apart from Oanese and other Igbo groups who are also channeling their support for Igbo to taste the presidency this time around as it's been a long time ago since they ruled Nigeria last. Adeban Jogu is one of the respected leaders of Afeniferi of Yoruba land, snubbed the Yoruba presidency and claimed that any attempt to deny the Igbo people from producing the next president would be considered discrimination against the Southeast. Ayadebanjo, who doesn't give his speech a second thought, believes that the Southeast region deserved it the most because both the Southwest and the Southeast have already tasted the presidency. Okay, South Southwest and South South. He fully supports the Igbo in producing the next president for equity and fairness to reign. This former Nigerian this former Nigeria president is a big fan of the Igbo presidency and he has said many times that the Igbo presidency will, only, will not only stand for equity but it will also bring adequate peace to the country. Obasanjo, who has a strong belief that an Igbo presidency will change bad things in the country, said the Igbos will work hard and use their entrepreneurial spirit to bring wealth into the country and keep Kill poverty. Obasanjo, who fully supports the Igbo presidency, believes that it will bring more equity and unite Nigeria more than any other country, which would make us benefit from peace. Hmm. Yes, they have made their stand known, and which is very, very key. Uh, I think, uh, um, what was this man's name? This activist. The Jadi and you said the same thing, but people said, "Oh, he's talking because he's from the north, uh, from the north central or whatever." As if uh, what he has said is not uh, valid, saying that anybody clamoring for southwest presidency is not doing good. There. Instead of that, let the presidency remains in the south, in the north, because that is not the way to go. All of them are shouting, "One Nigeria, one Nigeria!" Yes, we want Nigeria. We are united. This and that, but. When it comes to the nitty gritty of that statement they always make, it becomes a problem. They now begin to tell you that they, oh, you have not worked for it, you have not done this and that. I don't understand. Well, some people might not even agree with them, but the truth is the truth. Whether you agree or whether you don't agree, or because of a Tinubu that you are supporting, or because of a whosoever you are supporting, it doesn't change the fact you can you are entitled to your opinion. Are uh, these too old for nothing at Tinubu enemies? They prefer Igbo because the hatred. They are not seen for Tinubu. Points of correction, not that the Igbo too has love for Igbo because it is purely conspiracy. That conspiracy will kill them because they know Tinubu is going to clinch the political the position of Nigeria. Nigerian president in 2023 by God's grace. Really? I bet you uh, Tinubu will regret his life if he sabotages the Igbo from actualizing his dream. He is the one standing against the evil dream, Yoruba should shield their guard and face truth and fairness. It can't even contain the magnitude of Igbo's grievance and fears for the actualization of the nation would be Afra. Try it and see. It is unfortunate that Nigerians hate the candidate too. After assuring to suffocate Nigeria with Ibuhari due to his personal greed and selfishness, he feels it is time for him to unleash part two of terrible failure in leadership in Nigeria. God forbid, Nigerians should not just ask for Igbo presidency, but should support an Igbo man that possesses the capacity, patriotic and prepared to lead cons consciously, selflessness. selfless. Not a person like Tinubu, like Mohammed, Rotimi Amichi, who will come to continue with the blaming style of leadership. We don't want another eight years to be wasted on complaints and continuous bleeding of the nation's resources and borrowing jamboree. God bless Nigeria. Unfortunately, the two of them are not politically relevant in Yoruba land. Hmm, thank God. Hmm, someone smiles. Really? You think so? These two men are not Yoruba spokesperson, but are spoken 
for their selfish interest because of pure hatred they have for their two brother their own brother Ashwaji Tinubu mind you Igbo just left corridor of power recently and already have their own national cake this is Yoruba tenor Igbo should wait for their own tenor in the nearest future 2023 is for Yoruba and God has already sealed it by his grace <laughs> okay uh, this should be patriotic uh, citizens. I'm not Igbo, but I'm 100% in support of Igbo presidency or Igbo, uh, Igbo's freedom. It's either, either of the two. Either of the two. Yeah, I love what Obasanjo and Ayod Adebanjo have said. They are old people, so what do they want again? That is it. If they can't speak the truth at this stage. So I, I wonder when they will speak the truth. Is it when they are in their grave? <laughs> Well, a thousand years of Igbo presidency cannot give solutions to the Nigeria's problem. Nigeria will never work. Unfortunately, OBJ will ever be remembered for his efforts at uniting Nigeria. No credit will come to him because he's blinded by his uh, inherent hatred for alternative opinions. A million years won't unite Nigeria. We are too different to be one country. That's another person's opinion. In fact, there's wisdom in what these elderly people are saying mostly peace and unity the spirit of i'm not from here or there will be a thing of the past believe me or not let's keep hope okay an Igbo president will make people to know what citizenship is the north southwest grip of nigeria's affair against ego is one of the key problem of nigerians I think uh, it is even more than that. If you really have a people, Igbo presidency is not a, cannot be ruled out. But unfortunately, if really we have some or people who are really patriotic enough, because all these people, they are not patriotic. If they, we really have people who are patriotic, believe you me, nobody will even remember whether it is this one, it is this one. Whether if you now do your business and everything is working for you, everything is in place. Does it really matter? I'm always giving this analogy about uh, people going abroad, going to other countries. Nobody ever thought of, oh, I'm going, I want to go to the UK, but it is not an Igbo person that is the prime minister. I'm going to the US. It's not a, a Yoruba man that is the president of America. I'm, I would love to go to Canada, Australia. I have never heard that a, a Nigerian person has happened to be their president. But people don't even think about that. People don't think about that. It is only when things are not working. Even those who are clamoring, oh, my people, my people, they are even suffering. It's not as if uh, these uh, politicians even love their own people. They don't even love their people. And when I hear people say, oh, Igbos don't cooperate. So does it mean the Northerners, they cooperate? If they cooperate and they see their people living in abject poverty, they are dying in, on, on a daily basis. You think uh, <laughs> uh, 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 things we, we wouldn't have been better if really they are doing things that everybody will benefit from and we are talking about uh, this whole thing they don't have they don't have points <laughs>